So we'll be collecting cash from 15 of our vending machines, so all of them. Uh, some of them don't produce as much as others. However, we will be collecting from all of them today. It's been about seven or eight days since the last collection, and I don't like to leave a lot of cash in there. Uh, the reason being is a few of them are high performers, and the actual magazine on the bill acceptor gets full, and it will not accept any additional bills. So it's a good problem to have, but just keep that in mind that if you do run into that, you're going to want to make sure you're collecting at least once a week. Let's see what we got. So this is our first machine today. This is our first machine today. Looks pretty good. So I currently do not have a money bag. I definitely need one. Um, I understand that walking around with wads of money in your pocket is kind of unprofessional, but that's what I got right now. But I do one have coming from Amazon, so I'll follow back up with y'all when I get it. I'm not gonna take you guys to all the machines. I am gonna collect from all the machines, but I'm only gonna take you guys to the, to the few that uh, perform really well so you guys can get an idea of what we're looking at machine number two this one is also looking pretty good as you guys can see it's pretty full all right that collection was pretty easy we're moving on to our third machine and then on to our next location see you guys there this one's not as crazy it's more of a credit card location but they do have a few dollars in here so you guys have actually never seen this location. This is a location I haven't brought you guys onto the channel yet, but we're gonna do a quick collection and we'll move on to the next one. So this one, this one's not really a big cash location. So this one is also not a big cash cow. Uh, they only always have a couple bucks. Uh, they're primarily credit cards. So again, not a big deal. Another one. Little baby collection, just a little bit. Same thing, credit card primarily so not a lot of cash transactions on this one guys i know i have business cards taped to the front of that machine with the drink written on them i'm working on it and here we have location number four it's always good when you see a five at the front that's all i'm saying all right that one's history we're done with that uh, we are headed to our last and best performing location i'm going to collect there and we are going to add it up and see how much we made this week so just a quick note, I don't collect my coins out of the machines. Uh, reason being is I have what's called a float set up. So the coin mechanism inside the machine, it keeps an account of how many coins are actually uh, input into the machine and it actually just collects them so they don't actually fall on into the bucket. I do that because I don't want the coin mech to ever run dry and not have any coins in it. So that's kind of why there's no reason I should have an excess of coins because they all go into the coin mech. So any coins that do bypass the coin mech just means that the little tube is full and the coins are falling through. So I really don't ever collect them. Also keep in mind that these are just cash sales. So throughout the week, obviously I have credit card readers on my machines that collect funds as well. So the cash that you're seeing is only reflecting half of the set. Actually, the cash you're seeing is only really reflecting 30% of the sales because I'm 70, 30 right now, 70% credit card and 30% cash. So keep that in mind. If you guys would like to see an additional video that shows the entirety of my revenue of as far as how much my machines make in credit card sales and in cash, uh, I actually have reports that are done through Seed Live, which is Cantaloupe's operating system. If you guys would like to see that, drop a comment down below and let me know. So this one's one of our best performers, uh, as you can see. As you can see, it does pretty good. This is only eight days, so. All right, that was our last machine, and we are headed back to the house to count it up. So I don't have a money bag, but I do have a driver's side door and a cup holder. So that's what's gonna have to work for this. I got halfway home and realized that I have one more machine to go collect from. So I'm headed there now, and I will show you guys what it is. These guys are maniacs. I literally just filled this machine last night and there's already empty rows. I mean, come on, it doesn't get much better than that. All right, let's check this out. So not a ton, but just a little bit, a lot of credit card. All right, guys, it looks like our total came out to 590 and that was in eight days. And that's it all banded up so that way when I bring it to the bank, it's easy to deposit. Now that I have all the money banded up, I will take it to the bank tomorrow and get it all deposited into the business account. So being that we are a small business and we are a up and coming channel on YouTube, 
uh, subscriptions and likes and views and comments and all of those things are very, very, very appreciated. Um, so if I did provide you any value in this video or if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, you'll be helping the business out tremendously. You'll be helping the YouTube channel out and you'll be validating at least so I can understand what you guys want to see. It helps me uh, prep videos and, and more so understand exactly what kind of content you guys are looking please for. Please subscribe. So. Please like the videos if I did provide you value and you did appreciate and you did like them. Um, but other than that, I appreciate y'all's time. I'll see you in the next one.